Mabuti Philippines, hello Region 1, aloha sa Carlinian Learners, airing live from the Mangubumbu capital of the Philippines San Carlos City, you're tuning in to CCN Broadcast Center, a virtual home of every SDO SEC learner, where passion is the key. Learning paves the way with our division mantra, developing creativity, maximizing versatility. This is your CCN Broadcast Center. CCN Broadcast Center, a virtual home of every STO SEC learner. Good day, learners! Welcome to our science class. I am Teacher Drebby and I will be your teacher for today's session for Grade 9 Science. Before we start our lesson, please take note of the following reminders. First, prepare your pen and paper. Second, your self-learning module. Remember, if you ever miss a part of the live session, you can visit YouTube and search for Carlos and Carlene Network to review and download this live session. Our today's lesson is all about Quarter 3, Earth and Space, Module 1, Different Types of Volcanoes. In this lesson, addresses the following most essential learning competency. Describe the different types of volcanoes and volcanic eruption with a code S9ES-3B-26. The following learning objectives are 1. Describe the structure of a volcano. 2. Describe the different types of volcano based on structure and activity. 3. Give examples of types of volcanoes which are found in the Philippines. 4. Describe the different types of volcanic eruption and 5. Create an advocacy material or activity that will help raise awareness about the signs of an impending volcanic eruption. Consider the following questions and try to answer them as we go through the topic. Here are some key questions for you to ponder. 1. What is the structure of a volcano? 2. How are volcanoes classified? 3. What are the examples of volcanoes found in the Philippines? Fourth, what are the different types of volcanic eruption? And lastly, what advocacy material can be created to raise awareness on the signs of impending volcanic eruption? The big question is, are you ready? Yes, I know you are ready. But before that, let us first answer the following questions pertaining volcanoes. The purpose of this test is to figure out what you have already know and so I can gauge what you learn at the end of the lesson. Using the self-learning module, you will answer a 15 multiple item test. Read each item carefully. Write only the letter of the correct answer for each question. Use a separate sheet for your answers. You can also answer the assessment using the link post on your screen. I will give you 3 minutes to finish answering your pre-assessment. Timer starts now.
Okay, time's up. Let us check your pre-assessment. Number one, which of the following best describes a volcano? Letter A, it is a place within the mantle where rocks melt to generate magma. Letter B, it is a long tube in the ground that connects the magma chamber to Earth's surface. Letter C, it is an opening in the Earth's mantle through which lava, volcanic ash, and gases escape. Or letter D, it is an opening on the surface of the Earth that allows material warmer than its surroundings to escape from its interior. The answer is, you got it right. It is letter D. Number two, which of the following statement about volcanoes is true? Letter A, volcanic eruptions can be predicted. Letter B, volcanic eruptions are always violent. Letter C, volcanic, uh, volcanoes cannot be found in bodies of water. Or letter D, volcanoes gives us information about the inner earth. Your answer, that is correct. It is letter D. Number three, for questions three to five, refer to figure one, parts of a volcano. Which part represents the magma chamber? Letter A, one. Letter B, two. Letter, the, letter C, three. Or letter D, seven. Your answer, you got it right. It is letter B, two. Next, number four, what part of the volcano is represented by part one? A. Crater B. Magma C. Main Vent D. Magma Chamber Your answer That is right, it is letter C. Main Vent Number 5 Which of the following statements correctly describes part A in figure 1? A. It is a cloud uh, of ash formed by volcanic explosion Letter B. It is a fast-moving current of hot gas and rock that is moving away from a volcano Letter C, it is a basin, circular in form, which can be large in radius and sometimes great in depth. Or letter D, it is a silicate rock that is hot enough to be in liquid form, expelled from a volcano and reach the Earth's surface during an eruption. Your answer, very good, it is letter D. Number six, what do you call a volcano that are built almost entirely of fluid lava flow, thus these volcanoes are not steep? Letter A, lava domes, letter B, cinder cones, letter C, shield volcanoes, or letter D, composite volcanoes. Your answer. That is right. It is letter C, shield volcanoes. Number seven. What type of volcano is Mayon volcano, which is formed from alternating layers of lava flow and dissolved stone and ash? It is letter A, lava domes, letter B, cinder cones, Letter C, shield volcanoes, or letter D, composite volcanoes. What is your answer? Your answer is, yes, typically it's letter D, composite volcano. Number eight, which of the following correctly describes the composition and formation of large, of composite volcanoes? A, a large, typically steep-sided, Symmetrical cones of large dimension formed from alternating layers of lava flows, volcanic ash, cinders and blocks, and pyroclastic materials. Letter B, built almost entirely of fluid lava flow, thus these volcanoes are not steep. Or letter C, it is composed of boulders and formed by the collision of oceanic plates. Or letter D, it is considered as the simplest type of volcano. What is your answer? You got it right. It is letter A. Next, number nine. Volcanoes are classified as active or inactive. Which of the following is used to determine volcanic activity? A. Materials they emit. Letter B. Age of the volcanoes. Letter C. Base where they located. Or letter D. Historical record of eruption or volcanic activity. Your answer. Yes, it is letter D. Number 10. Mount Akir Akir, located in the province of North Cotabato, has no record of activity for the last 10,000 years. Which of the following statements is correct? A. It is an active volcano. B. It is an inactive volcano. C. It is potentially active volcano. 
or letter D, it is a destructive volcano? Your answer. Yes, it is letter B. Number 11. Bicol region is highly volcanic in origin and part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Which of the following volcano located in Bicol region is considered the most active, having the most number of historical eruptions? A. Iriga B. Isarog C. Mayon or D. Bulusan What is your answer? Yes, it is letter C. Number 12. Which of these statements is incorrect? A. Volcanic eruption is an excessively explosive type of eruption of gas and pyroclastic materials. There are B. Strombolian eruption is an eruption characterized by fountain lava. Letter C. Phreatic eruption is a short-lived eruption and may be an onset of a large eruption. Or letter D. Phreatomagmatic eruption is an eruption resulting to sideway emission of pyroclastic materials. What is your answer? Very good! It is letter A. Number 13. Taal Volcano in Batangas exhibits phreatic or hydrothermal eruption. Which of the following statements describes a phreatic eruption? Letter A. It is stream-driven eruption as the hot rocks come in contact with water. Letter B. It is an excessively explosive type of eruption of gas and pyroclastic Letter C, it is a periodic weak violent eruption characterized by fountain of lava. Or letter D, it is characterized by tall eruption columns that reach up to 20 km high with pyroclastic flow and ash fall tephra. What is your answer? Very good, it is letter A. Number 14, which of the following is a sign of an impending volcanic eruption? A, volcanic tremors. B, increase level of water letter c presence of hot spring or letter d occurrence of thunderstorm your answer very good it is letter a number 15 which of this is not a sign of an impending volcanic eruption letter a crater glow due presence of magma at or near the crater letter b decrease in the temperature of hot springs wells or crater lake near the volcano letter c increase in the frequency of volcanic quakes with rumbling sounds occurrence of volcanic tremors or letter d increase in steaming activity change in color of steam emission from white to gray due to entrained ash what is your answer correct it is letter b so how did you find the pre-assessment what is your score? If you got a perfect score, congratulations. But if your score is 14 below, it's okay. Don't worry because I will guide you to learn more about the topic in this module. So come on, let us explore together the wonderful world of science. We will start with answering the first activity entitled Volcano Concept Map In your Araling Panlipunan, you have already discussed the different landforms together with the physical geography. And for you to be more familiar with one of the landforms which is the volcano, we need to answer this activity. The objective of this activity is to characterize a volcano. Our materials is pictures of a volcano, paper and pen. For the procedure, Based on the picture, give four descriptions of a volcano. Present your answer in a concept map as shown below. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. In giving points to students' responses, consider the following. Five points if the concept map is completely filled in, the, in with unique and correct ideas. Four points if the concept map is completely filled in with correct but not unique ideas. Three points if one part of the concept map is not filled in but the supplied ideas are correct. Two points if two parts of the concept map is not completely filled in and some of the supplied ideas are incorrect and zero point for no effort exerted. I will give you one minute to Complete the concept map. Timer starts now.
Okay, time's up. Let's see your answers. Yes, that is right. Volcano is a cone shape or has a cone shape. Also has a crater. It emits hot rocks and gives off hot gases. Great! Now you have already familiarized yourself with the concept about volcano. Our next activity is called Four Peaks One Word. I know you are familiar with this. Review the pictures. You will be shown four photographs. These four photographs have something in common. Sometimes it will be obvious, while other times it can actually be fairly hard to guess. This is especially true of later levels. Guess the theme. Below the pictures, you will see or you will see blank spaces indicating how many letters are in the answer. Take note, the answer to the puzzle is the common theme between the four photographs. Are you ready? I will give you five seconds to give your answer. Let's start. Your five seconds starts now. Okay, what is your answer? Very good, it is Bicol. Did you know that in the Bicol dialect is called Bulkang Magayon, which means beautiful volcano in English. It was named after the legendary heroine Daragang Magayon or beautiful lady. The ruins of the Kagsawa Church are now the site of the Kagsawa Ruins Park, one of the most popular tourist destinations in Albay. Now you know. Next, another five seconds to interpret and depict the picture. Time's up. Very good. It is Batangas. Did you know that it is the Philippines' second most active volcano, the Taal Volcano? Also, the Taal Volcano is one of the smallest volcanoes in the world. Taal Volcano is considered also as one of the world's deadliest volcano. Tawilis can be found only in Lake Taal. Now you know. Next, another five seconds. All right, what is your answer? Very good, it is Zambales. Did you know that Mount Pinatubo eruption on June 15, 1991 was one of the largest volcanic eruptions of the 20th century? The ash cloud from the 1991 eruption covered an area of more than 100,000 square kilometer and the island of Luzon was plunged into darkness. The eruption was about 10 times as powerful as the eruption of Mount Helen in 1980. Next, another 5 seconds. Alright, what is your answer? Very good! It is... Negros. Did you know that Mount Kanlaon or the giant footstep of the warrior god? Laon is the name of an ancient Hiligaynon goddess. During pre-Hispanic times, the natives worshipped her as their supreme ruler. Kanlaon is derived from the old Visayan words ka which means four and laon. The mountain is said to be where laon made his presence to the people. Next, another five seconds. What is your answer? Very good, it is Pangasinan. Did you know that there's, there are also volcanoes here in Pangasinan? Like the Mount Amurong, Mount Balonggao, Mount Kabaluyan, Mount Kahilitan, Mount Kandong, and Mount Malabob. So, how many pictures or words do you remember and recognize? These pictures and locations are very important because it will help us to better understand one of the wonders of the world, volcano. So, what is a volcano? A volcano refers to mountain or hill, typically conical, 
having a crater or vent in which lava, rock fragments, hot vapor, and gas are or have been erupted from the Earth's crust. The lava and the other volcanic material originated from molten materials called magma, found beneath the surface of the Earth. Magma and other volcanic materials are finding its way to the surface where they are expelled through openings like cracks and holes. Any activity that includes the movement of magma towards or onto the surface is called volcanism. The parts of a volcano. Summit is in the apex of the volcano. At the summit, you have the cold vent. Slope are the slides or flanks of a volcano that radiate from the main or central vent. The base is lower outer part of the volcano. Other geologic features of a volcano. Magma chamber is a region beneath the vent of a volcano where molten rock or magma is deposited or stored before eruption. Main vent is the main opening or outlet on the surface of a volcano that emits lava, gases, ash, or other volcanic materials. Next is conduit. It's an underground central tube-like or pipe-like structure of a volcano that connects the magma magma chamber to the crater through which the magma travels. Side vent is a smaller outlet through which magma escapes. Crater is the mouth of the volcano which is funnel shaped or bowl shaped hollow at the top of the vent from where magma, ash, and gas comes out. Lava is a molten rock which is given off onto the surface of the earth when a volcano erupts. Ash and gas clouds is a mixture of rock minerals, glass particles, and gases expelled or pushed out of the volcano during the volcanic eruption. It's now time to test your knowledge after knowing the concept of volcano and its structure by answering the activity entitled, Name My Parts. Label the parts of a volcano using the word or words inside the box and fill out the given table where there are correct descriptions. Write your answers on separate sheets. As you can see, there's the picture and there's the table. You have your table here. You have eight number, which is eight parts, also eight descriptions. So I will give you three minutes again to complete the table and answer the activity. Timer starts now.
Okay, time's up. Let's check your answer. So your number one is main vent. That is right, where main opening or outlet on the surface of the volcano. Number two, which is the below, is the region beneath the vent of a volcano where molten rock is deposited. <coughs> number three, uh, you look at the you know, ash and gas cloud. It's the mixture of rock, minerals, glass particles, and gases expelled from a volcano. Number four, in my right, but it is in your left. Layers of lava and ash. Materials pushes out the volcano during volcanic eruption. Number five, yes, it is crater, mouth of the volcano. Number six, it is the secondary vent, small outlet. Number seven, magma, molten rocks inside the volcano. And lava is the molten rocks which is given off. Very good. Next is the classification of volcanoes. There are several ways by which volcanoes can be classified. They can be classified based on structure and activity. Types of volcanoes based on structure. One way to classify different types of volcanoes is through the structure characterized by their shape, parts, and formation. Cinder cone volcanoes are the simplest type of volcano. They are built from particles and blobs of solidified lava ejected from a single vent. Lava is thrown into the air which breaks into small fragments that solidify and fall a cinder around the vent to form a circular or oval cone. Most cinder cones have a steep slope, wide crater, and are the most abundant of the three major volcano types. An example of this is the Mount Balongao in Pangasinan. Another example is Taal Volcano, Smith Volcano found in Babuyan Group of Islands, Mount Mayabobo found in Quezon Province, and Mount Musuan in Bukidnon. Another example outside the Philippines is the Paracutin Volcano in Mexico. Next is the composite volcanoes or strato volcanoes. There are large, typically steep-sided, symmetrical cones of large dimension formed from alternating lava or alternating layers of lava flows, volcanic ash, cinders, blocks, and pyroclastic materials. One important feature of a composite volcano is the conduit system from which magma rises to the surface of the earth. They are formed from viscous or sticky lava that does not flow easily. The lava builds up around the vent forming a volcano with steep sides. The very good example of this is the Mount Mayan in Albay, Mount Arayat in Pampanga, Mount Canlaon in Negros Island, and Mount Apo in Davao Region. Outside Philippines, it's the Mount Rainier in USA, and Mount Fuji in Japan. Next is shield volcanoes. They are large, broad volcanoes that look similar to shields from above, hence the name. These volcanoes are built almost entirely of fluid lava flow, thus, these volcanoes are not steep. They can be easily identified because they are all tall and broad with flat, rounded shapes. The lava is not accompanied by pyroclastic materials which make shield volcanoes relatively safe. Eruptions at shield volcanoes are only explosive if water somehow gets into the vent. Mauna Loa is one of the largest shield volcanoes. It is now time to test again your knowledge after knowing the classification of volcanoes by answering the activity right my type. Identify the type of volcano. It's either cinder cone, shield volcano, or composite volcano as described by the following statements. Write your answers on a sheet of paper. I'll give you one minute to answer the activity. Timer starts now.
Okay, let's see or check your answer. For number one, very good. It is cinder cone because it is the simplest type of volcano. Number two, that is right, shield volcano because it is built almost entirely of lava flows. Very good. Warrior shield is your hint, shield volcano. Number four, Mayon. Yes, it is composite volcano. Steep slope and wide crater, that is cinder cone. Yes, it is cinder cone again because of the uh, built from ejected lava from fragments. Or lava fragments, actually, I should say. Yes, perfectly sloped structure. That is right, it is composite volcano. Number eight, it is a cinder cone. We all know that the Tal volcano is a cinder cone. Type of cinder cone. Number nine, composite volcano. Very good. And number ten, yes, it is shield volcano. Congratulations! I hope you learned a lot of things on how to classify a volcano based on its structure. Next is how to classify volcanoes based on activity. Another way of classifying volcanoes according to the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology is based on their activity as indicated by their behavior and historical events. Active volcanoes are those volcanoes that have had at least one eruption during the past 10,000 years. They are those that erupted recently and still showing re regular activity like emission of gases, lava, and ash flows. Next is inactive volcanoes. On the other hand, these are those that not have erupted for at least 10,000 years and it is not expected to erupt again in comparable time scale of the future. There are no signs of volcanic activity for a long period of time because magma supply is cut off. Also, the physical form of the volcano has signs of intensive weathering and erosion. Our country has more than hundreds of volcanoes. 24 are active while the rest are either potentially active or inactive volcanoes. Below are some examples of active volcanoes. Okay, it is time for you again to test your knowledge after knowing the classification of volcanoes based on its activity. You're going to answer an activity entitled Volcanoes in the Philippines. In your Araling Panlipunan, you have already familiarized with the word latitude and longitude. As you can see, there are coordinates. Latitude and longitude. Latitude and longitudes are a system of lines used to describe the location of any places on earth. So, I know it is easy for you to locate the locations of a given coordinates of a sample volcano. You're going to plot those coordinates on the map using the legend where blue, yellow, and green, and red are being used. I'll give you three minutes again to plot and answer the activity.
Okay, time's up. There are guide questions. All are the volcanoes found in the same location? Question number two. Which of the volcanoes have the most number of eruptions, least number of eruptions, or no record of eruption? Number three. How will you classify the volcanoes that have records of eruptions? Number four. How will you classify volcanoes with no record of eruption? Or question number five. In your own words, differentiate an active volcano from an inactive one. You have one minute to answer the guide questions. Timer starts now. Time's up. Let us check your answers. That is right. There are three, four, five blues, three reds, one yellow, and four or one green. So question number one. Are all the volcanoes found in the same location? No. They are found in different places in the Philippines. Question number two. Which of the volcanoes has the most number of eruptions? Least number of eruptions or no record or of eruption? Answer. Mayan volcano has the most number of eruptions while Iraya volcano has the least number of eruptions. The following volcanoes have no record of eruptions are Kabaluyan, Kokoro, Pulong, Tamburok, and Urot. Question number three, how will you classify the volcanoes that have records of eruption within 10,000 years? That is right, it is active volcanoes. How about with no record of eruption? Very good, it is inactive volcanoes. So how are you going to differentiate the two? That is right, if active, it is erupted recently, while inactive shows no record of eruption. Very good. Next is the type of volcanic eruptions. Different types of volcanoes erupt differently. They are generally classified as wet or dry depending on the magma's water content. Volcanoes are, are described according to the style of eruption as follows. Phreatic or hydrothermal is a driven, era, driven eruption as the hot rocks come in contact with water. It is short-lived, characterized by ash columns but may be a beginning of a larger eruption. An example is Taal Volcano. Next is a Priato Magmatic Eruption. It's a violent eruption due to the contact between water and magma. As a result, a large column of very fine ash and high speed and sideways emission of pyroclastic materials called base surges are observed. Example of this is Mount Mayon. Next is Strombolian. A periodic weak to violent eruption characterized by fountain lava just like the Irazu volcano in Costa Rica. Next is Volcanion. It's characterized by tall eruption columns that reach up to 20 km high with pyroclastic flow and ash fall tephra like the Paracutin volcano in Mexico. Next is Plinian. It is excessively explosive type of eruption of gas and pyroclastic materials like in Pinatubo volcano in Zambales. So what are the signs of impending volcanic eruptions? FIVOX is the government agency tasked with monitoring earthquakes and volcanoes in the country. Based on their findings, here are the commonly observed signs when a volcano is about to erupt. 
your practical application, you were going to create an advocacy material or activity like flyer, jingle, poem composition, advocacy video, etc. on raising awareness about the size of an impending volcanic eruption. Your work or performance will be rated using the given rubrics. Now, let us wrap up what you have learned in this session by answering this problem or statement or you're going to complete the statement and write your answer on a sheet, separate sheet of paper. I'm going to give you one minute to answer this activity. Okay, time's up. Let's see your answers. For number one, very good. Volcano is a natural opening in the surface of the earth where molten rocks, hot gases, smoke, and ashes are ejected. That is right. Next, the three parts, the summit, which is the highest point. Slope is the side. Base is the lower part. There are two classified or there are two classifications of volcano in terms of activity, the active and inactive. There are three classifications based on structure, cinder cone, composite, and shield volcano. That is right. And lastly, we all know that active volcanoes are recently erupted, erupted over 10,000 years. That is right. So, I will leave you a quotation from Emma Goldman. Out of the chaos, the future emerges in harmony and beauty. Always remember, Darkness, there's a light. Conflict, there's a consensus. Hate, there's love. Despite of being dangerous and destructive, we cannot ignore the fact that volcanoes are one of the wonders of the world. Like the pandemic, it brought us fear, conflict, and hate. But we need to appreciate the fact that this pandemic brought us also light, consensus, and love. Learn to appreciate because it opens opportunity for us to grow stronger like the volcano. So you're going to answer the post assessment for us to check what you have learned in this lesson. The same, using your SLM, you will answer a 15 multiple item test. You can also answer this using this Google form. We are going to give you three minutes to answer the said post assessment. Timer starts now.
Okay, time's up. Let us check your answer. For number one, yes, it is letter D. For number two, letter D, correct. For number three, it is, yes, letter B. For number four, it is letter C. For number five, what is your answer? Yes, it is letter D. For number six, your answer. Very good, it is letter C. For number seven, it is letter Very good, it is letter D. Number eight, your answer. Letter A, nice. Number nine, what is your answer? Letter D. Number 10, it is letter B. Very good. Number 11, letter C. Number 12, it is letter A. Number 13, it is letter A. Number 14, your answer, letter A. And for number 15, your answer is letter B. So, how is your score? If you got it all perfect, congratulations. If not, you can always go back to any part of this lesson since it is recorded. Your additional activity, you can visit the video because I should say it is recorded. I hope you learned a lot from today's lesson. Thank you so much for tuning in. Once again, this is Teacher Drebby. See you next time for a more exciting and engaging lesson in grade 9 science. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you. Philippines. Hello, Region 1. Aloha, San Carlinian learners. Airing live from the Mangubumbu capital of the Philippines, San Carlos City. You're tuning in to CCN Broadcast Center, a virtual home of every SDO SEC learner, where passion is the key. Learning paves the way. With our division mantra, developing creativity, maximizing versatility. This is your CCN Broadcast Center. CCN Broadcast Center. A virtual home of every STO SEC learner.